A little too fast. A little too fast. A little too fast. A little too fast. Fast. Oh, the wall. Shit. Oh, Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we'll be touching on the subject of the Duna Colony. I know a lot of you are like, what? Or something like that. Yay, Duna Colony! Yeah. So if you remember, we were actually going to redesign or rebuild the spaceport, or the thing that launches rockets from the surface of Duna. We're going to redesign it so the rocket actually sits on the ground rather than on a pedestal. Because the rockets are starting to get a little big. And so the pedestal of the original one couldn't hold it. I say pedestal. Platform. So from now on, we're just going to have the rockets be built on the ground and just sit on the ground. Nice little big claw to hold them in place too. Of course, in order to have them be built directly on onto the ground, I need to switch up a few things because the way simple construction works is that you have to kind of look at it as if the hangar floor is the point at which the object that you're building is facing. In other words, since you're building from a docking port, you have to look at the docking port as if it's the, the floor of the hangar and any which way it's tilted or pointed towards would be what the hangar floor of the save file is pointed towards. So if you have a docking port, let's say, facing upwards like vertically that means whatever save file you have is going to be brought into the game world on a vertical axis axes so for instance if a rocket's pointing straight up on top of the hangar floor for the save file if you were to bring it into the world it'd be pointing horizontally instead unless of course you took the docking port and you pointed it straight up then like i said before it act like the hangar floor and then the rocket would be actually pointing straight up so in order for this to work we have to make sure our rockets in the save file are tilted or laying down on their belly. Now we still have, we still have some junk in orbit around Duna. So I wanted to build like a type of little freighter, the colony's first spaceship in a sense. It would fly around the orbits of Duna, remove satellites, repair satellites, modify satellites, change their orbit or deorbit the satellites and possibly even be able to go to Ike and back since it doesn't really take that much Delta V when you're in orbit around Duna to go to Ike and back. I wanted to give the freighter a more NASA-ish look or feel. I wasn't going for super futuristic right off the bat. I think it came out pretty good. Remember what I told you about the hangar floor and the docking port and all that jazz? Apparently I forgot, like a dumbass, dumbass, and I had to go back and change everything. But oh no, the bad luck didn't stop there. Now that I had finally gotten the rocket to point straight up, it ended up being the wrong freaking rocket. I had inadvertently wasted a bunch of resources on building something that was outdated, but I figured I'd use the rocket as a type of a test for the spaceport see if it was even or if it was working correctly but i was pretty much the rocket was garbage so finally after getting the right rocket in the right position everything was a go it was actually really cool i love the red lights the blinking and the big giant claw holding it in place it works very well so i grabbed the pilot made sure she was in the cockpit and off we go Now since our colony is in kind of more towards the South Pole, because that's where the higher concentration of ore was located, in order to get into orbit in order to rendezvous with an extreme incline for our space station, it's pretty simple. Well, not simple simple. A little bit more advanced than simple. But anyway, you take the orbit of what you're aiming for and you line it up with your launch site. Make sure it's completely flat. You don't want any of the round bits showing on the sides. Make sure that the orbit pathway is 100% flat and that your launch area 
is right on that pathway. Once this happens, it's pretty simple. Look at it as like the nav ball, the nav ball pointing straight up. You already know where north is. So if you were on the ground and you looked on top of the nav ball, in this case, you're going to have to start pointing towards the right as soon as you launch. A lot of people in the audience are going, the fuck? Don't worry, maybe I'll make a video about advanced orbits or something like that. <laughs> Now here's where the freaking Kraken attacks. After rendezvousing with the station, I find out that the attraction force for the docking ports are way too high. And unfortunately, I guess, between the torque of the space station and the freighter, it ends up snapping both of the docking ports off. No explosions, they just pop off. A real pain in the ass. And there I was, forced to watch the docking ports, both of them, float away into space. As they were leaving, they were like, Fuck you. Luckily, the freighter has a hook, or a claw, I was able to attach the space station anyway, but the entire ordeal had actually damaged the freighter. I mean damaged, I mean like, literally fucked it up. It was no longer straight, it was banana shaped. So that messed the entire freighter idea up, and I wasn't about to try to make another one and all that jazz, so I'm just gonna leave that in orbit for now. However, if we want a more better launch site for our rockets, it'd be smart to start building a type of launch colony around the equator of Duna. But how do you build a brand new colony all the way out there. Granted, the colony that we have now, it's well off. It's got everything we need. But in order to build from scratch, we are going to need something big. Something that can rebuild an entire colony from almost nothing. So that's when I went in for it to design myself a colony builder. This would be a very, very big project for the colony itself. A lot of parts, a lot of rocket parts, metal, fuel. If I remember correctly, it took like three days for it to process before I was able to finalize the build. I had to make sure that I had everything. Smelting, mining, it could build rocket parts, everything. So what I did was I had the crew and everything up front, factory and whatnot, and then I had all the smelting and mining equipment in the back, and power and whatnot. Underneath, I didn't show it, but underneath, there's an arm that comes out with a docking port on it that allows the vehicle to start building outwards on the side. So what it'll do is it'll sit there and mine what it can, and it will build the colony one building at a time, and even some uh, large moving vehicles to start moving buildings around. However, unlike the colony that it was built from this is not going to be a mining colony it will have mining abilities of course gotta have something to build rockets with but it won't be a primarily self-sustaining colony like it won't be large at all be very small i'm gonna guess maybe a command module agricultural dome a residence your mining and factory smelter combo and of course solar panels i mean it's quite possibly maybe i'll even ditch the solar panels and build like a fuel burning power plant with the large cell the power cells 
that will burn fuel in order to produce power and maybe even some fuel tanks around it maybe even it gets its fuel from another colony that supplies it fuel because i am pretty sure that a lot of the resource spots on the equator were very low so i don't think it's going to be able to produce enough or maybe it will i don't know we'll find out so what this is going to mean is that i'm going to have to start looking at building transports to transport goods and supplies as well as personnel from different colonies maybe like a bus or a train maybe something that flies i don't know But there she is, the colony wagon, off to build a new colony somewhere in the equator. I'll deal with the space station problem later. Be pretty cool, actually, once I get the launch colony up and running. Maybe I'll have it where it has, like, several spaceports attached to it instead of just the one that the main colony has. I don't know, we'll find out. But anyway, this has been the Duna colonization, solar colonization thing in Kerbal Space Program. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button so that YouTube actually gives a damn. <laughs> and if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program videos. Every once in a while, it might be a new game or something. We'll see. I also have a membership program if you're interested. You get little cool little emojis and stuff and badges and whatnot. Pretty cool. Check it out. Anyway, I am Veos. Thank you again for watching and thank you again for your support. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.